hello guys in this video i'm going to show you how you can recover your pin and your password for your recharge app account so let's log in into our recharge app account and then as you can see i'm on my recharge app dashboard over here and i'm going to refresh so you can see i just funded 310 naira for this tutorial okay so one thing about the recharge app application is once you log in you'll be directed directly to your dashboard so let's say you are not aware that you have forgotten your pin and then you will try to purchase a mobile data you have already picked your network and you have selected the amount of data you want to buy and then you have inserted your phone number then you will try to impute your pin like and then you click on your buy now right okay and then you click on the buy now button in order to purchase and the next thing you get is that you know you click on the okay and you get the invalid transaction pin and you don't know what to do so a lot of people have this issue and the first thing i'll tell you to do is to watch this video and watch it carefully so the first thing you need to do in this situation is to log out of your account now you just need to click on the profile button over here and then you go to the logout button over here and then click on the ok so once you log out of your account you will take him back to the notification where you see the main page and then click on open now you see we are able to log in into our account again so now let's say you do not remember your password you do not remember your email so if you don't remember your email i advise that you go to your email like the emails that you have and then search if you have gotten any message from recharge app application so if you're able to find an email message from us you know that you use that email account to register on our application now if you do remember your email and then you have inserted your email and let's say you do not know your password right all you just need to do is to click on the forget password over here so you'll be asked to provide the email address to get a temporary password to log in to your account so just input that same email address and then you click on the reset password button so once you click on the reset password button you see a password will be sent to your email so all you just need to do is to go to your email address and then you know you can see i just got my own email so this is it this is it you get so i'm going to copy that password and then i'm going to log in into my account now you know that this is a new password i just got this new password you can see voila no issues no problem with gotten access to your account instantly now you don't know your pin right you can't remember your pin now you know before if you log in automatically you will never have the chance to reset your pin but once you log out and then you log in again you get the reset pin button over here so all you just need to do is to click on the reset pin and then you answer a question that to show they are not the bots right so you add it plus one you say it's nine right and then you click on the proceed and then you will ask the question if you are sure you want to reset your pin and what you're going to do is to click on the ok button that's if you don't remember your transaction pin you click on the ok button and then you can see your transaction pin has been set so all you just need to do now is to go back to your email address and then you will see your new transaction pin so you input that transaction pin and then you click on the proceed button now remember your transaction pin now can you see you have logged in into our account again now before we didn't know our details now we know everything now the next thing you are going to do is to go to your profile and then you see this security tab over here this security uh, column like you're going to update your password so what you're going to do now is to click on the update password you're going to input that 
password that was sent to your email you get you put the password that was sent to your email and then create a new password that you can remember so once you put that new password that you can remember you click on the change and your new password will be changed successfully right and then you do the same thing for your pin input the pin that was sent to you on your email right and then create the new pin that you want to use so once you create the new pin and you click on change you will be updated you get your pin will be updated and then you have a new pin and a new security transaction pin right only the one that you know like so as you can see so this is how you change your password and change your pin if you happen to forget them so i hope you got value from this video and i'm always available to answer your questions so just drop them on the comment section and if you have any video requests you can drop them on the comment section so make sure you subscribe to our youtube channel and i hope to see you in our next video peace